Today I'm going to be reviewing all three of these Clarion models. These are the 2015 models, the CZ series. I'm going to start with the CZ205, the 305, and the 505. The 505 is the one I'm going to focus on. I'm going to actually power up and show you this interactively. And I'm going to show you the features on the pieces that are just below it in the entry level, middle of the road, as well as the flagship 505 piece because that's all there is to the single DINs in 2015 for Clarion. So this should give you a good gist of all the features. But I'm going to focus my energy on the one that has the most complexity. So that way if you choose to get the step down piece, I would be covering all of them no matter which one you choose. So here we go. Let's get into it. So here we are. We're starting off with the CZ505. Now this one here is the flagship in the single one din size Clarion for 2015. This radio features the HD radio plus Bluetooth, CD, USB, of course MP3, Window Media's uh, player features all built into one single din basically the new style with the angled buttons that kind of going back with the old late 90s style which is cool it worked back then and you know they have to keep keep it fresh you know they got to keep it changing the one thing it is changing is that with this manufacturer rightfully so I mean I hate to see it go but things do change the world evolves that the line is shrinking and the reason why it's shrinking is because of all the flexibility and all the feature rich functionality that a lot of the newer vehicles are coming out with so it kind of makes the manufacturers second guess say hey why should we have 10 single din radios in our lineup when basically we can cover them all with three and i think that that i think three could have been maybe stretched to four but you know hey that's just me i'm not you know in charge of clarion so whatever so the cz505 this is their flagship piece this one has all the features if you wanted to take this exact same radio and lose the hd radio um, and also the 6 volt line outputs on the RCAs, you can get into the CZ305, which is basically the same unit with also all the same features, except the display is not going to have the 768 colors. It has the white back contrast. It does not have the uh, 768 color combinations like this model here has. However, everything else remains the same. It still has that aptX, I think is what they call it this year. aptX, basically what it means in English, um, from my interpretation, is it... Is supposed to deliver the consumer a CD quality experience when they're playing their Android or iPhone via Bluetooth to the radio. So that way it takes all that compression and it makes it sound less digitally and it makes it sound more natural and kind of dynamic the way it's the, in, the artist should have actually intended to sound the sound initially before it got all digitized. So enough of that. Beep, beep, boop, 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 boop. Now the CZ305 is the step down, like I said, with no HD radio, a couple of the gimme features like the voltage and the color display. If you can live without that, the CZ305 is probably for you, unless you can't live with the uh, blue and white display. Now, if that is a little still too much for you and you want to save a few more bucks, this piece here, which is the CZ205, this is the entry level piece in the Clarion 2015 lineup. Essentially what this piece here is going to give you is everything that the CZ305 does minus the Bluetooth, minus the high volt, voltage preamp outputs, plus the three sets of uh, voltage outputs, the HD radio. However, all three of the radios in this lineup come with a free full featured wireless remote control, which is great. I love to see free gimme features. Manufacturers need to know about this stuff, that people like this stuff. So that is a free included feature. Pandora, um, integration with all three of these is part of the deal so that's another good feature this piece here is going to be in the you know the upper hundreds the 305 is going to be in the 150-ish range and then you have the 205 which is going to be right around that hundred dollar range or less so they got something pretty much well covered in all three of those and they're going to have two units in the double din series so basically to mitigate what they have going on here just in a double din four inch high units which i'm going to cover separately they're going to have a 3 series and a 5 series. I have them both in stock. I'm going to try to do a review on those today or this week sometime. But this is the unit in the display mode. You can see that they have this new angled style button. It's kind of reminiscent of how Alpine used to be a few years back. And, you know, now, now they're on to this other trend. You know, they just kind of go back and forth. It's like Sony copies Clarion, Clarion copies Alpine, Alpine copies Pioneer. And it's just they keep going around and around like the daisy chain. I don't know. So whatever. This is what they got going on this year. I like the knob, I'm sure that, that most people do. As you can see, it's got the scrolling text. Chrome is always nice. Gloss black, which is a very uh, nice finish. It's kind of just how uh, consumer electronics, basically home car or, or otherwise, just look now. Um, I like it. Detachable face, bottom left button right here. We'll detach the panel. However, Clarion did not give you a uh, case to put it into this year. Oddly enough, they've always done that. 
Uh, I guess that's a cutback that they chose to make, and that's what it is, folks. So if you need to get one of those, buy it separately. I'm going to move around to the back side of this unit now. So what we have going on back here is pretty straightforward. Standard 16-pin Clarion plug, which they've been using for the longest time, and that's cool. I've, I have no problem with this. Don't change it. If it ain't broke, don't change it. Over here, you can see that the RCA preamps, they actually changed some of their colors, um, which is different. Obviously, something's changing in their engineering and manufacturing department. You got three sets of preamps. You got front, rear, and sub. These are the higher voltage preamp outputs. So unlike the 305 and the 205 model, these guys here have four volts of preamp output. Over here is a Sirius XM plug for expansion. So if you're adding this SXV300 tuner, that'll work. Over here, you have your analog input for your antenna. Of course, this thing is steering wheel control ready. Of course, if you're going to buy one of these, make sure you take off these shipping screws, which a lot of people don't do. Believe it or not, we actually get returns still, if you can believe it. This, this time in 2015, people still don't know how to take off the damn screws. And before I wrap up this review, I want to show you some of the functionality on this, on this unit. On the right side here, you see there's a USB. You can just basically slide that over to the right, and that's how you can access the front um, port there for your USB for your Android or iPhone. Underneath it, you'll see there's a 3.5 analog audio input jack. This can close up just like it did on the open side. All your presets, 18 FM, 6 AM, of course, display button light located right here, rotary encoder knob, sources here, play pauses right here, uh, track forward and reverse, fast forward and reverse, of course, right here, music button, which I'm going to show you for all the uh, settings on the menu, main menu button, band located right here, and as I already touched on, the detachable face button right there. Up on the top left, that is the mic input. Um, you can add an expansion microphone onto this one, and you can get you know an even better uh, experience for for the speaking on the outward end of this unit by adding that little function on there. But as far as the settings go, give that guy a tap. You got BDQ, which is your custom settings. Um, these are all the factory default ones, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I'm going to show you what else that you can do. Your balance and your center and your fader, of course, is right here. Nothing exciting there. Fader, same kind of deal, front and rear. MBEX, which is your mega bass extension. You can turn that on and off. High pass filter. You can turn this from 90 hertz, 120 hertz, and 60 hertz to block your high pass filter uh, uh, bass so that way it will enter your, your front and rear full range speakers. Same thing happens on a low pass filter. Same settings, 120 on hertz, 90, 60, and through. So both for volume, you have right here dedicated from 0 to 6. It goes to negative 6. And you're back where you started from. So basically, very straightforward, crisp sound, just like Clarion has always made. Um, it's a good, reliable, good quality product. Smaller lineup for this year for sure. But if you like that classic Clarion style, you like that gloss black finish, and you want that high voltage preamp output with the HG radio, Bluetooth, the whole bit, some of their... Uh, ex expansion, you know, um, work that they've done on creating the Bluetooth wireless experience, this radio just might be the one for you. Also, the CZ305, which is the middle of the road step down piece, and the 205, which I've covered a little bit earlier on in the video. All three of these we have in stock. All three I think are really cool. You know, I like Clarion. So there's reviews for the 2015 CZ series in Clarion. <laughs>